So hindquarters, according to the breed standards, says strong and in balance with front angulation. Thighs are powerful with muscle carrying well down into the second thigh. Stifle is moderate bend. The hocks are strong and true, turning neither in or out. The hock well let down. Rear, claws, rear dew claws generally removed. So on this dog, she looks kind of chunky here. She does have nice bend here, but with this extra fluff back here, we can make this look better with more bend by taking out the extra fluff that she has here. I typically don't take anything off this side of the dogs unless they have weird curls sticking out weird. Um, she definitely doesn't need anything done here besides the spay fuzz, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but we can work on this angulation. So again, for the rear, you want to have that it, them perfectly stacked so you know what you're having to deal with. I'll use a comb just to kind of fluff everything up, but not digging in and fluffing. Um, a lot of curlies, her included, when she walks away, there's a little bald patch that kind of opens up here. So you have to be careful not to take this too short, even though we're trying to create more angulation. So I just lightly fluff it up. This is where I'll use these shears too. And again, slowly whittle away not taking off too much at once. You want to leave a full layer of curls. You can even fluff it up with your hand. You want to you don't want to take the butt bones too tight. Um, short but not tight to the bone again you don't want any bald patches according to our breed standard that's not cool so make sure you're never taking this too short so you want to check the length that you have on bitches I do tend to take these little curly pieces here that just collect pee for my own sanitary purposes so you can see with trimming how we made some more angulation in here. Um, she doesn't look as boxy. Um, another thing to consider with this too is tail set. So she has a nice tail set. There's nothing I would adjust. Make sure not to take it real tight on the inside. You can make a dog look kind of barrel-y um, if you take this real tight in here. You wanna again still leave a layer of curl. Um, if you have a dog that is maybe wide you can take this a little um or sorry if, if the dog is narrow you could take this tighter to make them look wider um i wouldn't adjust this anymore she moves pretty clean in the rear so i wouldn't do anything on the inside or outside but you can adjust that according to the dog so this is what i consider spay fuzz it's real soft downy undercoat on liver dogs this typically will be very light colored on a black dog i don't know if you can tell it's a little brown kind of faded out I pull this out. So some people say it doesn't come out easy. I think it comes out pretty easy. I mean, you gotta pull it, but you get all this soft, fuzzy stuff. And I feel the more you pull it, the less it grows back. I found the more I cut it, the more it grows back and it can extend all the way up the legs. It can be on the front legs. I just use these two fingers. You can, I, I'll lick them just to get them a little tacky or just get them a little wet and just pull out a little bit of hair at a time. You can also use a terrier coat stripping knife to pull out some of this stuff. Um, you just have to be careful not to irritate the skin, but just that little bit of pulling looks a ton better. Um, and I, I feel it looks better like this. Um, it, it's just real soft and it doesn't curl great usually. Um, so by just pulling it out, just again, be careful not to get bald patches. So don't pull out too much, just a little bit at a time.